is the Kenyan rally giving you a hard time? I know it has given me a headache, so I spent the last few days trying to perfect this setup so you don't have to. Alright, let's cut to the chase about Kenya. It could be a tough rally, especially without the roll set up. There is a mound of dirt in the middle of the road which just makes it hard to control your car. And the stage itself is full of undulation, it holds one or two corners. Keeping the car facing forward is a task within itself. And to top it off, there are these people sized boulders sitting there on the side of the road. And plenty of them hidden behind thick foliage. Everything you know about dirt rallies can go out the window with this one. It takes true driving skill, one mistake and the race is over. Here are my seven tips for the Kenyan Rally. Firstly, there's a lot of complexes of tight corners, lots of ones and twos, some threes in there. The best gear to use is second gear. Second gear just allows you to get the power down nicely, stop the car from losing traction, and you'll be able to set faster times straight away just from this first tip alone. The second tip I have for you goes hand in hand with the first tip. You need to be using the weight of the car to get around these corners faster. If you're heading into a corner, dab the brake a bit. Because the brake bias is further forward, you'll put the weight back on the front tyres. It helps with the turning and the rotation of the car. Leaving the weight in the rear, because you've just been accelerating, will only make you understeer. And as we all know, understeer is not good for when we want to go fast. Third tip, Kenya's a difficult one. In the middle of the road, there's this big humpy mound of mud is the best I could describe it. If you keep the centre of the car over it, this will help stop the suspension compressing and turning the car into a pogo stick. I mean, one of the stages has multiple half mile straights. There's also one with a one mile straight. These straights can be harder to control the car than in the turns. Fourth tip for you, be proactive with your steering. Lots of micro corrections are going to be needed anyway to set a fast time. And another big one to being fast, don't drift too much. It's only going to make you slower. As well as the drifting, try not to use your handbrake too much. You only really need to use your handbrake to rotate the rear of the car. On a dirt track, you'll find, especially in the wet, that the rear of the car will just bog down. So you'll be slower out of the corner. And the last one I have for you, really important listen and focus to what your co-driver is telling you they have some important things to say on this stage they'll tell you if there's rocks on the inside they'll tell you if there's a tree that you need to be turning around it is very important that you listen if you're struggling with that go watch this video it's got all the basics in there that will help you understand it faster so now the moment that you've actually watched this video for. During my research and my testing of these setups, I actually found that there are two that you can use. The first one, which is on the top section, is the one that I'll use personally. It has better control over the rugged surface and it's just generally more controllable under fast speeds, slow speeds. Personally, it's the one I'll use. The one on the bottom is for those who like to live life on the edge. It's more stable under braking, but boy is it hard to control when you're going fast through some of these corners. And just like that, you're at the end of the video. If you're struggling with other rally stages, I have these videos up and ready for you to study. I really hope you've learned something today. As always, comment below if you would like help with another setup for any other location, or if you just need some general guidance, I try my best to reply to everyone. So as we approach 2024, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. I'm aiming for at least 75 subscribers before we head into the new year. If you could help me reach that goal, I would very much appreciate it. Till the next time, I'll see you soon.